What is your identity? Is that the food you eat? The clothes you wear? All the festivals you celebrate. <laughs> It is our heritage. Their voices were loud. Their messages were clear. They were resolute. They were confident. Very confident in a leader who inspires them because they know his inspirational leadership transcends his boundaries to many others. They are the Asoglis. Asoglis are an amalgamation of four traditional areas in the Volta regional capital of Ho, comprising Ho, Takla, Kwenwe, and Kwefe. According to history, Asoglis are part of Evers who started their journey from ancient Abyssinia in the current Ethiopia. He then settled for a while at Oyo in the Yoruba land, western Nigeria, and later moved to Ketu in Dahome, presently called Benin, before settling Agnoche in the present-day Republic of Togo in about the 12th century. According to oral history, during their stay at Ketu and Noche, the others lived in walled cities called Agomen, literally meaning within the fenced wall. At Noche, the Evers were ruled by a tyrant called King Agokoli, whose sadistic rule is reported in historical records of all Evers. Like the other Evers, Asoglis also detested the tyrannical rule of King Agokoli. Hence, under the leadership of Togwikakla, 
they broke through a portion of the fortified wall and their circles and some other others escaped. As others separated along the way, followers of Togwi Kakla founded their Sogli state. <laughs> the traditions they took along from Nortia in the Republic of Togo was the celebration of Teza. Asogli Teza means Asogli Yam Festival. It is celebrated annually at the beginning of the season for harvesting to thank God Almighty as well as commemorate the hard work involved in yam cultivation. Yam cultivation is tedious and history has it that some who ventured into it back in the days did not live to enjoy the fruits of their labor. It was, and it is still, a labor-intensive, energy-sapping, and quite hazardous farming practice. Hence the proverb, <laughs> literally meaning, if it were during the days of pegging yam, that yam is eating. Even goats would not be allowed to eat the peel. Their current inspirational leader is Tobi Afrede the 14, a Gugumethia of Asogli State, who is also the president of the National House of Chiefs and a member of the Council of State. The year 2018 also marked 15 years since their Royal Majestic Leader Togbe Afrede the 14th was enthroned. The celebration was therefore twofold, Asogli Teza 2018 and the 15th anniversary of Togbe Afrede the 14th. <laughs> It was a month-long celebration with some activities at the blind side of the sunny sun. The peak of events was the grand debris of chiefs and people from near and far with their cultural and historical displays. portrayed the economic transitions of most African races. It is the use of cowries as legal tender for payment 
of any amount. This was replaced with printed currencies in modern times. But the only thing left untouched in this state is the proverbial saying, literally meaning, if you possess unlimited calories, you can buy everything except life. <laughs> is key and should not be compromised in any way. Hence, his leadership is focused on improving the lives of people, not from their subway state alone, but the whole of Ghana and beyond. Akupomefia Togbe Avede the 14th has initiated a number of projects, including the Asunon Asogli Power Plant, which is currently contributing about 17% of total electricity generation in Ghana and the Africa World Airline. The World Trade Center Accra, which has won the mandate to host the WTCA General Assembly in 2021 and thus bring business counterparts from all over the world to Ghana. Togwe Afede the 14th has also led the signing of an agreement with the Chinese company for the generation of about 50 megawatts of electricity through wind technology at Ada. Asogwe State is also one of the traditional councils in Ghana that operates an active and dynamic website.
Sogri State Address, Dr. Fede the 14th of Bubumefia of Sogri State, who is also the President of the National House of Chiefs and a member of the Council of State, called on all Ghanaians to shun corruption but be united in fighting poverty as their common enemy. He reiterated his philosophy about chieftaincy that in the olden days, chiefs led their subjects to fight fellow human beings. And in modern times, chiefs must lead their subjects to fight against poverty. There were fraternal messages from invited guests. This is from the National House of Chiefs. Go away, my brother. Your talk are always for the welfare and progress of humanity. You are indeed a modern and progressive chief who has also contributed immensely and in diverse ways to the growth of the chieftaincy institution. You are an active and highly revered president of the National House of Chiefs. You are a fountain of wisdom, a development-oriented leader, and someone who will not discriminate on the basis of race, tribe, or ethnic or whatever. Therefore, you are a man of all. Tobe, on numerous occasions, you have provided selfless service to the National House of Chiefs and the good people of Asagre State. Amply demonstrate the kind of person you have. You have been to our mother Ghana. Furthermore, your leadership for the past 15 years has boosted the relevance of our ancient institution. So, my brother, I dare say this is the hallmark of the traditional ruler who fully understands his role as the agent of development. May your rulership span across decades and your good deeds written in letters of gold. Afishiapa. Togbi Agokoli of Noche in the Republic of Togo, the ancestral home of the Asoglis, had a special message. <laughs>
Regional Minister Dr. Achibo Leta represented President Akufuado, who was billed as a special guest of honor for the twin event. I wish to commend the people of Asogri for their commitment towards the continual celebration of the Teza. Agogumefia Togbe, appointed the 14th, ladies and gentlemen, 15 years of traditional leadership is worth celebrating. Over the years, Agogumefia Togwe, appointed the 14th, has projected traditional authority in the Volta region. As we celebrate this festival and Agogumefia Togwe, appointed 14th, 15th anniversary of enthronement, I wish to reiterate the need to continue to live in unity and peace to engender development. On behalf of the President of the Republic of Ghana, on behalf of the Volta Regional Community Council, and on my own behalf, I wish you a very successful celebration. We shall continue to celebrate this festival with you in the years ahead. On this note, I wish to once again express my appreciation to you for the invitation. Akwenami. Azalo. What is your identity? Is it the food you eat? The clothes you wear? All the festivals you celebrate. <laughs> It is our heritage. Don't miss the next Asogli Teza live at the Porto Regional Capital Hall in the month of September each year. Heritage will be there to bring you pure Ghanaian festival and adulterated. Yeah.